Hey guys, it's Alan from Eventide here with Mike Vegas from Nice Rack NYC. What's up, Mike? Glad to have you guys here today. Thanks for having us. So, what kind of stuff do you do, you do here? This is a pretty uh, badass setup. Thanks. I build rack and pedal board systems for guitar players primarily. I also do all sorts of other engineered solutions for guitar players. A lot of guitar players of all different caliber from the pro guy to the bedroom shredder, all points in between, they all have needs. Not every one of them can afford to have a full-time guitar tech to take care of those needs for them. Mm -hmm. With my experience as a touring guy for over two decades, I can bring a lot of that knowledge into my shop where these guys can come in and say, I'm faced with this problem, sort me out. They pay for a couple of hours worth of shop time and the materials that they need, and they're back out the door doing their thing where they don't have to maintain that full-time relationship, but they still get the benefits of having a high-end guy who's been around the block a few times. Cool. So I could come in and I could have you basically build an entire rig or maybe just kind of give me tips on like where to start if I completely don't know. Right. A lot of players come in, they're not certain what kind of guitar rig they even want. They have some ideas in their head that they're hearing in between their ears and they need to translate that into hardware. Come in, sit down with me, tell me about where you're gigging, what kind of music you're playing, what gear you're using, and I can help cook up a recipe for your rig that meets all of your criteria. Whether it's you live in a walk-up and you gotta carry it up the stairs after the gig, or you're flying to every show. Whatever your needs are, we can work something out that fits your fit, not the, what's in the store fit. Yeah. And with a lot of uh, musicians who travel via airplane, um, in the last few years, they got pretty strict with what you can actually carry on, what you can check in and all that. So people's rigs are trying to get smaller and lighter. Yes, very much so. You definitely have to be very TSA proof with yeah. the way that you package the gear and also you have to meet the 50 pound cutoff. Your guys' products that you've released in the pedal form over the last few years have definitely helped make that curve more friendly for the guitar players out there with the portability, the weight, etc., and the power of the unit. By power, I mean the audio quality, the user interface is a, a tight package in a small box that really meets that TSA proofing that you need to do for guitar rigs. We'll see today with Annie's rig, which has been basically very TSA designed that she has to fly to a lot of dates. It has to go as checked luggage. It can't go cargo because it needs to be on the same flight as her, etc. So that was a lot of criteria that she brought in. She also said, I'm tired of doing the tap dance. I would just want one thing to happen and my whole rig to respond. I said, all right, you obviously want a MIDI controlled preset switching system. Let's go down that path. We were able to work it out with her Ableton guy slash keyboard player that the Ableton rig is going to be sending her guitar rig most of its program change information so she can focus on playing guitar and interacting with the audience with singing and not thinking about doing that tap dance through her pedal board anymore. Wow. So you can really only do that kind of a setup with with MIDI. Exactly. MIDI is a very powerful tool. A lot of musicians, when you suggest the word MIDI to guitar players, there seems to be a kind of a pullback, a reticence from some guitar players. Mm -hmm. And I find that if you can kind of help them get around the corner and realize how friendly and how much of a tool it is for them to make their life much more simpler in the playing environment, rather than getting hung up on the, well, it's more technology, it's kind of doing my head in. If you can get them comfortable with it, all of a sudden it becomes like this whole plethora of new options that open up to a guitar player. When you explain to them, I can take an expression pedal and make it talk to any one parameter of any preset in your Eventide processor at any time that you want to have manual control or articulation over a part, you can do that. It can be the effect mix rate on your reverb, it can be the pitch bend for whammy type effects, whatever you need it to be at that moment. Let these tools work for you and if you're not confident with doing it yourself, reach out to a guy like me, I can help you get around that corner. Cool. Sounds great. Go see Mike. Okay, out. Thanks for coming today, guys. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it.